The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out looking at the uh, chart of the uh, FTSE. As you can see here, uh, it's had a pretty good ABCD and has backed off a little bit. But we want to take a look at the DAX first. And then after we look at the DAX, we've got a human interest story that I think you're going to like. I know that I'm going to like it because I've already talked about it to my, with my sister. Hold on one second here. We'll get this up there. By the way, today is my sister Carla's birthday. She's uh, four years younger than me at the age of 78. Hold on up here. You'll see here, there's the ABCD that we had here in, in the DAX, and we're also backing off uh, a little bit. Okay, folks, let's get back to a human interest story. Go back to 1969 in Westlake Village, and I banked at Bank of America, and one of their favorite customers was none other than Mickey Rooney, the actor. And his son, Mickey Rooney Jr., who was one of the first two original Mouseketeers, passed away up in Phoenix uh, two days ago. And uh, But I'll tell you the story about Mickey Rooney. He was married, I think, 10 or 11 times. And he would go into the bank two or three times a week, cashing checks and stuff. And I would see him in line and would always, I'd say hello and stuff. But my mother absolutely adored him. I mean, she just, that's all she ever talked about. Mickey Rooney this, Mickey Rooney that. They were roughly the same age, about the same size too, very diminutive. And so I asked him, I said, hey, if I get my sister out here from Indiana, would you have coffee with her? He says, oh, he says, I have her take me lunch would you buy and i says how much besides the dinner and he, he's lunch he said oh no no he said uh, he said just let's go let me take her to lunch and i said okay so i surprised my mom I, she only flew twice three times in her whole life on laren's birthday or when laren was born joe was born and when she got to meet mickey rooney so i took her out here and i said well i said i'm going to go have lunch over at uh, the, the plaza here today and so uh, let's get ready so she got dressed up and we were going in and uh, we were he was in a booth already and uh, she saw him and she says oh my god she said that's Mickey Rooney and I said yeah I know it is and so we walked over and he said hello Rosalie he said how are you and uh, for the next two hours I left I let him sit there and chat and everything she had the most enjoyable two hours people came by kept asking for autographs and stuff but uh, she never forgot that so that's the old human interest story that we're looking at folks I got to uh, tell you a little story I got an email from uh, someone last night and uh, it was an uh, email thanking me for introducing him to the 382 uh, but he said you've missed a, a really really key part of the 382 and I said, well, what did I miss? And he said, well, he said, I'm reluctant to tell you what it is. He said, because I'm afraid you're going to share it with everybody else. And I said, well, you're 100% sure that I will share it with everybody else. Because if you don't share knowledge, knowledge is no good. It's Knowledge is there to be shared. And you should be a giving person. I gave it to you. I didn't charge you for anything for it. You've done really well. You're now making a consistent living for the first time in your life. And I think you should go forward and, uh, you know, do something good. <laughs> it had nothing to do with that. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about that. But that's just the way some things are. Folks, we mentioned uh, on the show here yesterday and I want to get this up here because it's really an important chart here. This is the one we got from J.C. Parrots. From Let's get this up here. and We'll take a look at it right here. <clears throat> this is the U.S. dollar index inverted over the S&P 500. The time came, you know, we've definitely had some type of a major top now uh, in the U.S. dollar index. How major? I don't know. The first key to it happened today. Now, let's, if you'll remember... Yesterday, we were doing a lot of chit-chatting about the euro and the fact that it was going up and, you know, all that kind of stuff. The difference is, folks, you know, it's it's continued to go higher, but we've reached an area. Uh, let me get this up here so we can see it. So many of these charts are so much alike that it's just ridiculous. But this is going to be a really interesting one 
because this is the one, well, let's put it this way, it's interesting to me, and that's what's important, because I am the one that does the charts, and I like it. This is the euro on the daily. You can see here, we made the big 382 here. We broke down, we rallied up. Today was a 50% retracement of the previous high, and exactly 382 of a high that we made on our last 382. So right now, if this is correct, this should be it in the U.S. dollar as far as correction, and then it should start to go back up again. So that's a five-day rally that stopped exactly at the 50% retracement of the previous high and 38% retracement of the previous 38% retracement. So those were the things that I'm watching this morning because this is a, you know, I watch 15 minute and I watch daily and all the other things that I pay attention to. But these things are so very, very powerful that you have to pay close attention to them. I mean, they're just uh, truly amazing. Now, none of them is more amazing than the one I'm going to show you next. I want to get this up here because uh, we were talking about it yesterday and I want to follow through with it today because, uh, you know, if I keep banging on the doors here, maybe some of these folks will get in the door and you'll be able to see the importance of, you know, some of these patterns and ratios. And, and you know, if you're not, in, if you're not interested, Listen to somebody else. You always have a, that option. This is the natural gas that we were looking at. You see how we had the little Gartley pullback. The market exploded to the upside. And yesterday I said, look, the one thing you want to remember is start to look for the first 38% retracement off of that low because you're probably going to get it. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. But if you do, and if you do, it's probably going to be a pretty good one. So here we are, the drum roll, please. And here comes the drums and here comes the roll. Here's a chart of the natural gas today, 30 minute. Look at this, folks. It went $50 under the 382 at 71020. 711 was the number. Okay, that's $80, sorry. And then from there, it rallied to $4,500. $3,500 is where it rallied to, which was a 61% retracement off that high. So it rallied $3,500 with the heat of only 80 bucks. Now, may or may not mean anything, correct? Of course not. We don't know that, do we? Nobody else does either. So what we're going to do now is to look at some others that we were watching. If you remember, yesterday, let's get this up here, we were watching the crude oil. And we'll get the crude oil up here and get to... What I don't understand, folks, is why other people don't see this as clearly as people that look for these ratios should be able to. And, and you know, the folks there in uh, back in Atlanta with the Elliott Wave, they, they never talk about 3A2. And it's just an incredibly, look at this, 3A2 the first time, 3A2 the second time, 3A2 the third time. And how did that one work out? Hello, operator. Let's just check on that, and you'll see that it exploded to the upside. Let's get this up here to see it. So anyway, these things work uh, a great deal of the time. Not all the time. Nothing works all the time. But we're, one thing that does work all the time is the fact that TFNN knows how to collect the money from the insurance or from the commissions from the advertising. And that's what we're going to collect right now. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. We'll be right back. 877-927-3648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Monk Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits this distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, each day what I'm going to try to do is to highlight a stock that's in the news and just look to see how some of these patterns worked out. You notice here I posted a chart here of Twitter on a 15-minute chart. And as you can see here, we had that 382 retracement. And by golly, look what happened, the way it went. Folks, if you're trading stocks, commodities, futures, Forex, whatever it happens to be, by golly, pay attention to 382. And oh my gosh, the lottery ticket has just been punched for somebody in Wyoming. Larry, are you there? Yes, sir. How you doing, Larry? Still living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. Yeah. What can I do for you? Well, I just want to tell you what a small world it is. I, um, uh, my fr in the 1990s, I, 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 had a, I was in a periodontal practice in Westlake, California, right, oh. right by the post office there. And uh, <laughs> who was my patient? I had Mickey Rooney. Yes. <laughs> he was very nice yeah. to me. He was yes. nervous as hell. And uh, yeah. he he used his humor to kind of uh, guide his yeah. guide his way through all the uh, what he didn't know what was going on, you know. He was always so laughing. He, he sure know. was. Yeah. yeah. That that fun. is a small world. You found. Did you have any other? Uh, you know, because there were a lot of a lot of actors and stuff in that area at the yeah, time. We you had know, our so. chair, and um, you yeah. know, everybody was actually pretty normal, pretty nice. Yeah, they were. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, just they had this skill that allowed them to act. And I would mm -hmm. ask them about it. Like, how do you do that? I mean, how do you become somebody else? Mm -hmm. And they would try to explain it to me. And mm -hmm. um, it was very scientific, very technical. I mean, yeah. uh, the, the good actors would um, they would have a method. They called it their method, just like trading, you know. Sure. They yeah. practiced it, you know. They did. They took odd jobs in, in, you know, little theaters and stuff just to get to be, you know, pretty good at it. Uh, uh, Clint, Clint Walker, you know, uh, Cheyenne Bodie, you know, from the series Cheyenne. He lived on our street. He was four doors down from us, and so we got to know he and his daughter and his wife uh, pretty well. He he died, he lived to be uh, ninety seven. Mickey Rooney lived to be ninety three. Did you know that? Yeah, he made it a long time. Yeah, I he sure did. He was probably in his 60s, you know. So. Yeah. It was a long yeah. time ago. This was the yeah. 90s, you know. Yep. And, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just letting you know. 
But, well, thank um, you. I'd, I'd love to hear that because that brings, uh, you know, right. when you get to be my age, you know, history is what you got to live for. And uh, oh, boy, yeah. those memories I have are certainly valuable to me anyway. You've <laughs> got to admit, uh, it was so idyllic living in that Westlake Thousand Oaks area. Uh, yeah, the weather, you know, you could walk year round. I, I do miss mm-hmm. that. I, moved, I retired to Wyoming because of yeah. politics. I, I prefer this state, you yeah. know. But, um, yeah, I, I really didn't like the politics in California, but that's another story. That's for um, sure. I just had a quick question. I, um, I went long GDX at about 1048 off the five-minute chart, Larry. What do you mm-hmm. think of this whole thing? Do you think this could have picked out a bottom? I think there's a 50-50 chance, Larry. The reason why is... Uh, that bottom that we hit there at 1687 uh, was a 382. That's the second time we've hit it. We hit it last year. And the fact that it didn't cascade through there, it might still. And you certainly, if it makes a new low below 1700, you don't want to be in it. But as long as we can stay above 1692 uh, in the gold, I think it's got a slight chance for a rally in here. How much of a rally? I don't know, but if it's really a good bottom, it's going to come out of here and scare the shorts. The shorts have not been scared, you know, So you know, going back to March. You know, I mean, these things have been straight down, which was yeah. fortunate for us because we wanted to be short. But I think we're getting close to a bottom. We really are. All right. Okay, Larry, that was my question. I, I don't know. What to, I'm just holding it with tight stops, literally. Good. Um, and then you're, you're covered. You have a tight stop, and uh, you're going to be just fine. And if you ever get down this way, please let me know, and I'll take okay. you to lunch, and we can sit there and have some fun. All right, Doc. You th- I think. Thanks for everything, because uh, okay. the more I listen to you, the more I understand how you use these Fibonacci's to literally analyze what the players in the market are doing and I, I just it's so rare to it's it makes so much sense especially when you say it yeah. you know? <laughs> so I thank everything you do I th- I'm thankful thank you so much and I'll, I'll get that $20 out to you as soon as I can okay <laughs> all right later bye you bet you bet thank you Larry from Wyoming we really appreciate it anyway I posted that chart of Twitter and as you can see here, we had that 382 retracement backed off, you know, $2 from that, and then boom, it exploded through there. You see them everywhere, folks. Uh, you know, I can't post them all. And the, other, the reason why I, I want to post something here, uh, we don't have any guests today, so we have plenty of time. I want to show you, you know, I show you when things go right. Let me show you when things go wrong. This is important to look at because here is something I was watching very carefully last night because we had that 80-point drop in the S&P, and people were saying, well, is that the possible uh, the possible top? And I said, well, it stopped, you know, the low we made last night, uh, you know, right after the market uh, reopened, was right at the 50% level. It never went a tick below the 50%. But look, we had a pretty good ABCD stopping right there at the 382. That was around 3 o'clock in the morning. The reason why I know it was 3 o'clock in the morning because the alert went off to tell me it was 3 o'clock in the morning and that the NASDAQ had just made a 3A2. Now, I was watching the NASDAQ and I was watching the Dow Jones and I was watching the Russell. So I wanted to see what was going to happen at that time. So I figured, well, 15 minutes of uh, watching the market will probably mean something you know, later on because I wanted to see if it would go there. Now, it, that was at 12,000 uh, in the NASDAQ and it stayed there. It didn't really, didn't really do very much. But let me show you what happened as it started to move. And this is why I think it's really important. You'll see right after that, let me get this up. Now, this is a 15-minute chart, so it wasn't there very long. But when this happens, I want to see what is going to be the next level I want to look at. And so all I was doing here, this is where you can see that 382 retracement just sitting there, just spot on. Now, it stayed there. You can see that's just about a half hour. It stayed there, and then, boom, it popped up and went up. And it made the big A, B, C, D. As you can see there, there's a beautiful A, B, C, D. So my next step is, okay, if that's the case, what was that ratio that made it stop where it stopped? And so I go to that same 15-minute chart. I'm just going to blow it up so you'll be able to see. All I'm doing is I'm looking at it with a microscope and then a telescope and then binoculars. That's all I'm doing. So right now I'm looking at it with the naked eye. You can see we got it here to 1.618 re- expansion up here, backed off just a little bit, not very much at all, not even to the 382, and then it exploded to the upside. So when these patterns fail, when these patterns fail, 
boy, that's where you really got to pay attention because they're really good at predicting where they're going. And you know what else they're good at, folks? They predict it's going in the direction you didn't think it was going to go. So these charts are never wrong. You know, men, you know, men are often wrong. Markets are never wrong. So you've got to remember that. And that's why you want to follow it to see when they fail, you don't stand in front of the failure, especially beyond 1.618. That's the one that's really big. Boy, time goes fast when you're having fun. We're going to have to pay a few more bills for the O'Briens here and everybody else here at TFNN. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And the going rate for calling in is 20 U.S. We'll be right back, folks. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, we're back. <clears throat> we're back, folks. I posted a chart yesterday that we were looking at in the euro because we were showing – you know how the market was backing off to 382 retracements in the euro. Once it turned, it just exploded to the upside. And that's what we were watching. I wanted to show you that because that was a 15-minute chart. It only worked for about 20 pips while we were on the air. And then, of course, it went down and went a little bit lower. Uh-oh, something's wrong. The old, uh, there we go, just a second. Sorry, boys and girls, the old technical issues. Grab the old cowboy once in a while. So here it is right there. And right there is when we were talking on the air about this same time. I uh, know it was about a half hour, in, almost at the end of the show. We were sitting right there, and I said, if it's really, really super bullish, it'll hold that level. And we want to watch that uh, very, very closely here. So let's keep in mind here what we're watching here 
is a market that has backed off just a little bit more, and then it exploded all the way to the upside, and it hit the major numbers, folks. This is why this is such a big deal today uh, with the euro. You have to pay really close attention to it. I'm going to bring it up again because, uh, you know, I, I'm a numbers person, folks. I don't care diddly squat about what the people are talking about. You know, I'm a, I just look at the numbers. You can see here the bottom that we made here. Very, very important. We looked at that on the long-term weekly. And if you remember, it was just under par. The ABCD patterns on the weekly came in exactly at that number within just two or three pips. And then from there, we rallied well over 300 pips. That's $3,000 in four days. And it stopped exactly at the 50% retracement of the high we made two weeks ago, all right, and stopped exactly at the 382 retracement, just under 103, 102.96, and it stopped exactly at the 382 of that number that we had back about three and a half weeks ago. So that's what's important. What we need to know now is we've exploded to the upside here. So what we have to do is we have to prepare ourselves to find a spot where we can see a really neat 382 retracement you know, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to yell and scream at you, folks. And, and you know what? If it's wrong, it's no big deal. Just put your stop in, move to the next, move to the next stall, get on the next bus. You know, that's all you have to do. You know, you don't have to, you know, sit there and lick your wounds or anything. It's a losing trade. Big deal, for God's sake. You just got to move on to the next one. And that's what's uh, really important as we look at these patterns. That's uh, really a big deal. So, Keep in mind that that's what we're looking at. Regarding Larry from Wyoming's question about the, is this a possibility of what we're looking at here uh, in the gold market, a potential for a major, major bottom? And I'm going to bring this up to you again just to show you the numbers that we were talking about here. The fact that it didn't, well, it hasn't yet. It hasn't really rallied much. It's rallied 25 or $28 off the bottom. But you see the bottom that we made here just last week, okay, on Thursday, uh, Friday, you'll notice that uh, it almost matched. It didn't get below that. I would have liked to have seen it just to see if there are any stops there. But, you know, people that are using yearly stops, they have big pockets and they usually don't care about stops. So the fact that we went and matched that was very, very important. And the reason is twofold because it's equal to the move that we had here because that's where we had the double top. You see the equal move down here and we have an equal move right here so those are equal there's your there's your a b that's a possibility of cd and look where it is folks setting right at the old magic itself pen and teller 0.382 so that's why that is such an important number now i would have thought that if we hit that number we would be not 30 dollars higher but 50 60 or 70 dollars higher if that was a major bottom well two things could occur a, it might not be the bottom, and B, it might take three or four more days for the market to catch on. They, oh, yeah, this could be a major bottom, and then they're going to you know, take off and, and watch it really, really go. So I, I think it's, it's super important. There's another one that is just as important, and that is uh, it's not the yellow metal, but it's the red metal, and that's copper here in the copper state of Arizona. Get this up here so we'll be able to see it. This is a weekly now. And we hit that number right here. Uh, 317 was the 61% retracement of the long-term weekly two years ago. Uh, we went to 313 and a half, and we went up to 335 already. We've rallied 20 some cents uh, off the bottom, so that tells you, yep, there's some type of a bottom coming in here. So again, if you want to get long copper, you've got a nice thrust to the upside. Watch the 382 retracement on the downside, and that'll give you a pretty good chance to see if you're going to hit it, you know, right on the money, and that's all you have to be looking at. As far as stops on the 382, um, you know, that's pretty much, uh, you, you have to determine what you want to risk, but on something like copper, you got to probably risk three cents, which is $750. On gold, you got to risk around a grand, and on the crude oil, you have to risk around $1,000, because crude oil, float, folks, is just flat out wild. I mean, it really is. It's, it's very, very wild. And I think it's uh, it's pretty cool that, uh, you know, we have some of these things. We got the, oh, I just noticed the S&P is taking out the previous highs from the 8th of July. That's, uh, we're trading at 39.13. 
and that's a, a big deal. Uh, we'll watch that one uh, very, very closely. Uh, the euro is still backing off a little bit. We're glad to see that. And uh, the corn, folks, has really gotten hammered. I'm glad we finally got out. We took a $500 profit at that, and uh, they've been hitting it pretty hard. Uh, wheat's bouncing back just a little bit, but nothing to even write home about. But there's something wrong with these grain markets, boys and girls, because uh, they should be heading uh, a lot higher given all the fundamentals. Uh -oh, what's that word? I'm using the F word, folks. Sorry about that. That's what the fundamentalist people tell me, that the fundamentals are so bullish. The weather is extremely bullish. And you know what? The market don't care. That's what's the most important, folks. The reason why I'm a technician is because of one reason. You remember the movie City Slickers? And old, what's his name, uh, Jack Palance would hold up his one finger like that and go back and forth. And Curly would say, it's just one thing. It's just one thing. And that one thing was do the right thing and all the rest of the stuff will fall into place. Well, my right thing is to follow what the bar chart is. If prices are going up, there's more buying. If prices are going down, there's more selling. That's all you need to know. You know why? Because anything else you read is suspect to uh, cannon fodder. In other words, it may or may not you know, mean anything. You know, that's the main thing. When we first became members of Chicago Mercantile Exchange, we had to uh, you know, take tests to see that we could add, subtract, multiply, and divide and could uh, speak without slurring our words, that kind of stuff. As long as you had money in your account, they were going to let you trade, so it didn't make too much difference. They wanted to show you how to, to buy and sell. Like if you were going to buy a two lot, it was like this. And uh, if you wanted to buy a 20, uh, a 20 lot was like this. A two lot was like this. And uh, good thing I didn't put a one lot up there. And so that's it. And if you put it right over your forehead like this, okay, tits, that's a 200 lot. This would be a 100 lot. That would be a buy. Palms out would be a sell. Believe it or not, that makes great sense. If you knew how to, you know, do out trades and stuff, which I didn't, I paid somebody to take care of all that stuff. So that's uh, neither here nor there. So let's move on to the next thing. They also wanted to say that you should have some type of a system for trading down there, whether it was scalping, whatever it happened to be. A lot of these people just down there just mumbling around just to see if they could make it pretty much like what I was doing. I knew a little bit more than they did. So that helped a little bit. But the main thing they try to tell you is never risk more than 2% of your total capital on any trade that you're going to do down there. And you can be wrong 50 times in a row, and you're going to be blown out, but at least you're not going to be blown out on the first day. So you had to try to limit it to 2%. Your first two weeks, you were restricted to only lose 2%. If you lost 2% in one day, whoop, you were done for the day. 877-927-6648. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I wanted to share another um, interesting story that I remember most vividly. I was standing there in the pit, at the back part of the pit where I didn't have to trade. I handed my orders in to an order taker who took care of it. He took care of the out trader risk, so it cost me $2 in and $2 out. That was back in 1982 in the T-bills. But uh, we were standing there uh, in the pit, uh, on the back side of the pit, way at the top, and there's three, two or 300 people in the pit yelling and screaming, making a lot of noise. Hardly make yourself think, but uh, we stood next to a third generation group of traders. There was a father, the grandfather, and then there's a, the grandson and son was uh, just beginning to trade. And uh, he came out of the pit, the grandson, and he had a, uh, you know, a mis he had made a, a losing trade. And his dad said, look, he said, you got a, you got a problem here. He said, Get, go into the pit and correct it. Come back. So f 10 minutes later, he comes back and hands his dad the card. He says, what the, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use the expletive, but it started with a F and ended in a K. I don't know what it was in between, but are you doing and he said, "Well, I, I know, I, I know, I'm going to, I know, I'm going to be okay. It's going to turn around." And he reached. Jim reached over and took the kid's badge and just ripped it right off of his jacket. No, these are little cotton jackets, you know, the little blue ones as you see in them. I don't know what color they are now. Anyway, he said, "Get out of here." He said, "Go home." He said, "I'll take care of this." And Byron said, uh, "Hey, Jim." He said, "You're being kind of hard on the kid, aren't you?" And uh, he said, "Byron." He said, he's just out of college. He said, he don't know. He couldn't find his, you know what, with a paper paddle. And he said, it's my money that he's losing. If he's going to lose his money, I don't really care. But if he's losing my money, I care. The only way he's going to learn is by something being really dramatic. And I think this was dramatic. And, and at that time... Here came one of the one of the people. The, the, the well, they were called the police there at the floor because anytime there was something wrong going on, like money would exchange hands. You know, real money that was an immediate five hundred dollar fine. You know, doing something really flagrant, like ripping somebody's coat, which he just did. That was usually two hundred fifty dollar fine, and the guy was writing him a ticket. And he said, "Well, I'm going to pay for that one, but at least he's going to learn that by guys, if he's going to do, you don't make the same mistake by adding to a losing position." The number one thing on this painting behind me that says of the 10 things that are there is never add to a losing position. And I'll just turn around. We've got a caller on the line. Oh, it's like holiday. The lottery today. What can I help you with, please? Good morning. Good morning, Larry. Yeah. Just want to tell you, you're making me some money uh, on your ABC. If you look this at the makes me happy. card on ES, well, it went up that uh, 1.618. Very good, very good. That makes me very happy. Make sure you do something for somebody poor today, okay? Give them a buy them a, a hamburger or a, you know a candy bar or something. Just do something for somebody poor today if you see them. That'll make my day. I'll buy myself lunch. 
On hey, his hey, <laughs> eat well, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, you calling from? Where are you calling from? Uh, Florida. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of rich people down in there. But anyway, thank you for calling in. That makes my day when I'm reaching a few people. So keep using them. They don't work all the time, but when they work, they work great. Yep. Okay. Thank you. You bet. Thank you for calling in. Okay, getting back to the painting up here. Number one is never add to a losing position. Number two is when in doubt, get out. Number three, have a plating, have a trading plan and stick to it. Put, take rainy day, take equity out for rainy days. Never close a trade without a reason. And gosh darn, my eyes are getting so bad, I'm going to have to move a little closer to the old thing here. Stops are placed for protection. Please use them. The only true facts in commodity trading are fear and greed. The rest of it is baloney. Never add to a substan never allow a substantial profit to become a loss. And of course, the next one is distribute your e risks equally over several markets. And number 10, which is a sequel to number one, is never hedge a losing position. Because if you hedge a losing position, then you've got two decisions to make. Your original loss and what do I do with this piece of junk that I use to use the insurance on it. So if you got a trade that's not working, get out. You know, you know, do something good for yourself and forget it. And that's pretty much uh, all you really want to uh, really want to do. Anyway, that's what I'm. That's my two cents worth, and I'm sticking to it. Let me quickly check here uh, what some of these markets are doing because we hit a pretty interesting spot here uh, just a few minutes ago. We had a uh, a three drive pattern up there at thirty thirteen thousand six hundred in the um, Dow uh, E mini. We backed off just a tiny, tiny bit from that. But pay attention because if we drop more than 100 points, that's going to be a significant three little drives. The euro is still backing off a little bit. Gold hasn't really moved very much, folks. So I'm beginning to think that, you know, maybe it's not quite ready yet. So that's uh, that's what we're paying attention to, you know, right now as we look at uh, some of these things. But the fact that this corn has given up so much has uh, really let me double check that corn because I haven't I can check the commodities from here and we'll see what we're doing in the corn I'm so bullish corn and yet it doesn't want to go up so it doesn't want to go up I'm not going to go with it so that's pretty much it so let's get it up here to uh, take a look at it to see if we ever got back above that level nope we're still still below the 1595 we got down to 586 so no indication that it wants to rally yet, but I'm watching it. If I get the slightest buying pattern in that corn, I'm going in it, as they say here in Tucson, Arizona, el ecunos dos manos. With both hands, I will be in that. But right now, that is not happening, so I have to stand aside and uh, wait and see uh, what is going on. So that's pretty much it. We've got uh, tomorrow's guest will be none other than the WolfTrader.com himself, Shane Smolian. Uh, Timmy Boss will be in with us in about 10 days to two weeks. He's moving to his palatial estate over there in Sarasota. And so uh, as soon as he comes back on, we'll, uh, we'll have him as our guest. That'll be the following week. But on Monday, don't miss Mondays, folks, because we got none other than the Mr. Astro Trends himself out of which one? Naples, Florida. Norm Winsky will be our guest uh, at that time, so we'll pay close attention to it. Boy, folks, this natural gas is one beautiful trading vehicle. Let me tell you, it really rocks and rolls. We we went, believe it or not, folks. Just today, we went from 756. We dropped 4,600 dollars. Okay, that was the 382 down there at 711. Okay, from 711. We rallied $4,500 to the 61% retracement at $4,500, and now we're now down another $2,000, heading down to an ABCD pattern, and I will mark this up, post it so you can see what I'm looking at here, and you'll see we're going to be coming down here to around another seven or $800 lower at $722. So give me one. Uh-oh, I can't do it that way. I've got to do it the hard way. Hold on, as they say in Las Vegas. Hard six, hard eight. Hold on one second here, and we'll get this up here so we can see it. And there it is right there on front page news. And here's what we're watching here in the natural gas. This is incredible. This is like pork, pork belly on steroids. Uh-oh, uh something's wrong.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we want to get this chart up here for silver. One of the reasons why I'm still bearish on the gold, folks, you can see this is the daily silver chart. Uh, that last high we made, you know, right back here, you can see here that was right at a 382 retracement. So the odds of it completing that ABCD down here just below 18 is are pretty high, I would think. You know, it hasn't bounced at all. That's one thing. And number two is it's certainly in a very, very strong downtrend. And we've shattered the 61% retracement uh, on the long-term weekly, which was at 1862. So that's another reason to telling us that I think we're still heading lower, you know, in the silver and also gold and platinum and palladium, all of them. Uh, co copper is the only one that's a little strange because we, you know, was so oversold when it got to that 61% retracement. But if copper should go below, uh, you know, that 317 now on a closing basis and spot copper, my goodness, that would really be negative. So who knows what's going to happen next? I'm just looking at these charts and telling them, you know, where the roadmap is, where I think I can get from point A to point B without risking very much. That's the whole key to this. Folks, the swings that we're having these uh, past few weeks and stuff in crude oil, I mean, today we've had over a $6,000 swing, you know, two up, two down, two up. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, you really have to have a really good trading plan and protect yourself at all times when you're trading the crude oil. Because if you blink your eye, you could be out $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 in a heartbeat. And that is not funny. It's not much fun, so that's one of the reasons why you've got to, uh, you know, you've got to be able to uh, try to do that. So protect yourself with at all costs, you know, because if you're wrong, 
you're wrong. That's all there is to it. You know, you, you just move on to the next one, and that's all you have to do. So that's pretty much. We've got a pretty good breakout now in the S&P. We've been above that uh, 3909 level for about an hour or so now, which is a pretty good sign. So we'll we'll see if the market will turn and uh, maybe back off 20, 30 points. Yesterday, it backed off 80 points. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And we'll see you tomorrow with James Foley and the Wolf Trader.com. May God bless, folks. Mm-hmm.